Today I'm going to show you a couple of things uh, that the Browning A5 is capable of that I've never really seen any other shotguns uh, that are able to do this. Um, first of all, we have an empty shotgun, we have a snap cap. Um, one thing that the shotgun does that I've never really seen any other shotgun do is that when you load the first round into the magazine tube with the bolt open, it will automatically chamber that round. And then all subsequent rounds will load into the magazine. You can do all loading of this gun to fully load it with five rounds, chamber and magazine, all done through the bottom. Uh, that's kind of interesting. One other thing that this shotgun does is it has a magazine cutoff switch. So you could lock rounds in the magazine and then just use the gun by dropping around in, firing the bolt will remain open, drop another round in, close the bolt, fire the bolt will remain open, and you'll be able to keep a full magazine. Um, not really the most useful feature, really, for a sporting uh, you know, shotgun, but you could use those two features together in an interesting way that someone uh, had just recently turned me on to, and I thought I'd uh, make this video about that. What you could do with the shotgun that's interesting is that if you load it with the bolt closed, you could, I'm just going to put one snap cap in there, but you could have all four rounds in here, for just to just say, and then uh, put the magazine cutoff switch on, which is locking those rounds in the magazine. So now opening and closing the bolt will not pick up a round. It's actually a very safe way to carry the shotgun where you're able to carry it in the field um, with the bolt open, and uh, even if the bolt were to close or the trigger were to get pulled, there's absolutely no way this thing would be able to chamber uh, around or fire around. And um, it is immediately at the ready just by clicking off the magazine cutoff, you're chambering the first round. And using this trick, obviously, you only have four rounds at your disposal, not five. But it's just an interesting way to carry it safe where you're immediately at the ready. Now, um, I've had people say, yeah, but you could do that with any, you could do that with a Remington 1100. You could just load it and pull the bolt back. And the thing with that is, so you could do that with this also. This is what they're talking about, that you could carry an 1100 like this with the magazine loaded. And then you just pull the bolt back and the, the next round is ready to go. But you see, that's, that's flopping around in there. You know what I mean? If you're, if you're carrying the gun... By the time you're, you know, you walk across the woods somewhere, and then when you're ready to fire, by the time you close the bolt, you could close the bolt with the shotgun shell facing completely in the opposite direction, just from how it's moving around. Or it could fall out of there, and you close the bolt and think you have a round, and then you pull your, your shoulder the gun, and all you hear is a click. Um, that's got to be about just about the worst sound in the world. So, it's what's interesting about um, what's interesting about the Browning that's different is that when you're when you're utilizing this trick. There is nothing that's, uh, everything is just very contained. The rounds are contained in there. There's no way anything's falling out. You're carrying it um, in probably the safest way you'd be able to carry a loaded shotgun in the field. Um, and to be that ready, it just, uh, just a flick of a switch, how you're ready to go. You know, I just thought that was pretty interesting. Um, have a good one.